Yes. KOMU8 Sports. Good morning, Men, Missouri. It is a day full of new beginnings. The playoffs begin for the Cardinals. The season starts for the St. Louis Blues. And the Missouri Tigers kick off SEC play in Nashville this Saturday against the Vanderbilt Commodores. The Tigers will see if their offensive firepower can hold up in conference play. The Tigers are averaging 46 points per game. That's good for ninth in the nation. Tiger quarterback James Franklin will play against Vanderbilt for the first time since injuring his knee in the matchup last year. The Commodores are 0-2 in conference play. They've lost to South Carolina and Ole Miss. The Tigers say they need to look out for a high-powered Vanderbilt offense. The Commodores are led by a mobile quarterback of their own, Austin Carter Samuels, and star wide receiver Jordan Matthews. I'm very impressed with him. Uh, on offense, their quarterback is um, very talented. He's, he's very mobile. He runs around and makes plays. You know, he's, he extends the play. And does a, some 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 great things there. At any time I get to go against a, a high level of talent like that, it's fun. It takes me back to the Big 12 where uh, you play the Ron Broyles and the Justin Blackmans and the great receivers. They really make you you play. I mean, they'll blitz every now and then. They'll try and do a lot of confusion and they'll show one thing and then do another. Um, and they they really do like they'll they'll take some chances every now and then. The Cardinals open up its playoff series in Pittsburgh tonight against a familiar foe. The Cards will take on the Pirates, a team they faced 19 times already this season. They split the season series 10 games to 9, with the Pirates having the slight edge. But St. Louis has the upper hand on paper. They will send ace Adam Wainwright to the mound in Game 1 against A.J. Burnett. Wainwright has been amazing in the playoffs, posting a 2.48 ERA for his career. The Blues begin its season tonight at Scott Trade tonight against the Nashville Predators. The Blues are being called a contender for the Stanley Cup in this year. Uh, St. Louis hopes to beat the odds this year and win the franchise's first ever championship. But if you want to hear about odds, check out what happened at Tanglewood Golf Course in Fulton Tuesday. KMU8 Brent Pearson reports on a rare accomplishment times two. In golf, the odds to score a double eagle are six million to one. It's nearly impossible. On Tuesday, William Woods University golfers Billy McKenzie and Julian Taylor played the odds into the history books. That's a par five, so I'm looking at a birdie opportunity, even though it was quite into win, so I'm, but I'm still standing on the tee thinking I can make birdie here. I've just come off a bogey on the last hole, so I was quite annoyed. Gave me a bit extra on the tee, and then uh, all I had to do was carry the water, like, let the wind bring it down, but I couldn't see it. And I was just thinking, oh my God, I've just made I think I've made an albatross. I, I wasn't 100% until I walked in, into the cup and saw it. But it was probably the best, the best shot of my life. I couldn't have hit it any better. Less than 30 minutes later, on the same hole in the same round, it happened again. I hit my hit a good drive down the middle, and I had 211 yards into the pin. It was probably only 190 yards to carry it over the water, so I hit. I, ch I chose Rescue Club. I knew that would be the best club, and it landed just shot right at the hole, then run up the slope, and then it came back down and went in. Pretty cool. Uh, it, it was a neat deal. I, Billy made the, made the first one, and I uh, just pulled up, and he was waving his arms. didn't know quite what had happened. Then we get up there, and he said he made a two, and I didn't know if he made a two-putt or, or what he made. He said he made a two on the hole. Then I didn't find out about Julian's till a couple holes later. He was teeing off number two, and I told him about Billy's deal. He said he'd already heard. I said, Coach, I had one too. So that was that's pretty awesome. Brent Pearson, KOMU8 Sports, Fulton. Taylor and McKenzie are the first two amateur golfers ever to record double eagles on the same hole during the same round of golf. That's it for sports. More KOMU8 news after the break.